Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button to join the family. So EV is a global trend now and many vehicle manufacturers are taking advantage of that to add electric vehicles to their lineups. The likes of VW, General Motors, Ford and the many other car makers are making huge investments in electric cars with Tesla leading the charge. So looking at the changes in the environment and the disruption happening in the auto industry, it is fair to say the future is indeed electric. Wondering what an electric vehicle is? Well, an electric vehicle is an automobile that is propelled by one or more electric motors using energy stored in rechargeable batteries so drivers can plug in to charge their EVs from an off-board electric power source. There are lots of advantages of electric vehicles over four base one with the biggest being efficiency which we will look at. So quickly zooming in on Sub-Saharan Africa, there is one major question we ought to ask. Are we ready for electric vehicle revolution? Okay, so somewhere last month, the CEO of Kantanka Automobile, a Ghanaian-based automotive assembler and manufacturer, shared via Twitter pictures and videos of a compact hatchback vehicle named the Kantanka Amoenima. They are in two modes, full electric and the other being a full base. So it generated lots of buzz and mixed reaction from social media users, majority of whom felt it's been long overdue and others were quite happy this was going to be an affordable vehicle they can finally own. Zooming into the future, we analyze the many videos and images shared by the CEO for what we can expect and also the prospects of the Kantanka Amoenima EV. Now the first thing which is obvious from this picture is that the cars are assembled in Ghana from imported knockdown kits at the Kantanka assembly facility in Gomoa. Moving on to the design, from this video we can see it is a hatchback with a very compact design, huge backlight which I think is great for visibility at night, a very small boot for a few luggages and overall. It looks more like the many other compact cars on the market unlike the futuristic look many EVs are now going for. We also know it's a full electric vehicle as it is powered by a front positioned electric motor probably with a 24 or 33 kilowatts capacity. Also from this video we know it is charged with a regular 120 volt power outlet through a charge port located at the right hand side of the vehicle. However, Using this type of domestic socket to charge your car will take longer, probably a minimum of 8 hours and a maximum of 12 hours. EV chargers are in levels and this is a level 1 charger. So it has no gear lever and is automatic transmission. So as seen in the many luxury and electric vehicles, the Amoenima EV has no gear lever but rather a rotary gear knob selector. All you need to do is you turn the knob to drive. The next thing we look at is the acceleration. It seems to have a modest acceleration. Looking carefully, you notice there was no lag when the accelerator was pressed and the car responded instantly to the foot of the driver. This is one benefit of electric vehicles over four base one. Also no sound unlike the four base ones. But one thing to notice, electric vehicles, they get worse mileage at faster speed, largely due to the loss of regenerative braking. Hopefully the motor in the Moenima EV allows for one. The interior. It has a pretty clean minimal interior, leaded seats and then room for five passengers. Battery levels and speed can be seen on the LED screen on the dashboard. There is also a dashboard screen for infotainment and also an AC. However, air conditions in electric vehicles can drop battery levels significantly when turned on depending on the power of the battery. Hopefully the battery capacity can handle that. Looking at what we have seen from the videos compared to similar EVs of this nature on the market, here are some close range predictions for the Amoenima EV. So maximum speed will be around 55 km to 70 km per hour with it having an average speed of around 30 km. Mileage or range will probably be around 100 to 130 km. Now for the power consumption, it will be difficult to take a guess but it has been said most of the electric vehicles can cover up to 100 km with 15 kW. So basically, those are some things we can expect. Now before moving on to answer some questions, I took note of some expectations on social media and the major one happened to be affordability. Everyone kept asking how much it was going to cost and that it should be very affordable to buy. Also, it seems majority have interest in the 4-base type. 
Now let's look at some questions being asked on social media. How much will it cost? From a tweet from the CEO on Twitter, which is still up, it will cost around 40 to 45,000 Ghana cities, depending on the type. It's obvious the electric will be more expensive than the full base. Also, he said it comes to the payment plan that can be spread within 6 to 12 months. How much will it cost to regular charge? Quick math, assuming electricity cost per kilowatt hour in Ghana for a household is 0.43 Ghana or that is 43 pesos. If the vehicle consumes 34 kilowatt hour to travel 100 miles, the cost per mile is about 15 pesos. If the electricity costs 43 pesos per kilowatt hour, charging an electric vehicle with a 70 mile range, assuming a fully depleted 24 kilowatt battery will cost about 10 cities 32 pesos to reach a full charge so if you are looking to buy an ev it is best to research electricity cost in your country and your travel range how far you travel day in day out now how far can i drive like i previously said most of the electric vehicles can cover up to 100 kilometers with 15 kilowatts Hopefully, that minimum will have a range of 80 to 130 miles on a full charge. Best use. So, best use for an electric vehicle will be for local commuting. It is not that electric motors can't do the job, but the battery has limitation when it comes to storing energy. So, from the charger, we know it's a level 1 charger. I think level 1 or level 2. Lastly, here are some suggestions. It will be great to have solar powered charging stations in vantage locations around inner cities from shopping malls to airports along some major highways also will be good. Also, aside from it being able to charge from electric grid, it will be great to have the Amwenima make use of regenerative braking, which generates electricity from some of the energy normally lost when braking. Also, I hope the safety aspect, I hope there's availability of airbags and other collision management systems like emergency braking to ensure lives of passengers are protected. The silent operation of EVs requires drivers to use extra caution when driving in pedestrian areas. It will be best to have an integrated collision or pedestrian alert system that allows the vehicle to make some sound to alert pedestrians. But I'm not talking of a talking car, just make a sound. Also, it will be great to have added technologies or integrated technologies. I mean, most of these EVs have. Okay, so the prospect of the Kantanka Mwenima EV is great. We are yet, it's yet to be tested on the Ghanaian market. So we are all looking at how people are going to embrace electric vehicle in Ghana, whether it, people will move towards it or will depend on strategies that will be put in place by the company. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If it has been informative, please share with your friends. Also click on the subscribe button to stay in the loop more interesting videos are coming up thank you very much peace